Hello beautiful people, how are you? I hope you are doing well. So today I've got in front of me a slew, like a range of products for a full face of everything that is $1. So about a month, a month and a half ago, I put in a bigger order to Shop Miss A, which is a website that everything is a dollar. They have a lot of brands that are available on that website. Um, you know, some things that you would find like probably like on the cheaper side of Amazon. I know like I think Clean Colors and LA Splash, the, the, the brands that you would more find at like Dollar General, Dollar Tree that aren't like ma mainstream brands. Um, so they have those available and then they also have their own line called AOA. Um, this reminds me, this like brand of AOA reminds me of um, like Elf early days, but it's such good quality um, which I can already say that, you know, uh, a lot of people have made a lot of videos on this debuting the products that they have available. So I tried, um, some of their products a while ago, they actually have a brick and mortar store in Dallas that, um, my husband and I were able to visit sometime last year and I was going to go again this year, but timing was just horribly planned around, not around, but pandemic happened with COVID-19 and so my trip got canceled and I wasn't able to go back so I put in a big order and I've been trying out these products for about a month so I um, am here to kind of debut them to show you how I got this full face of makeup here today and I just kind of wanted to show you each little product and talk to you about what worked and what didn't so without further ado let's get into it. Okay, so as far as like tools and stuff go, um, I did not use these today just because I didn't do my eyes first because I wanted to do just a really simple eye look today. But they have these shadow armor pads um, and these are really awesome. I use these on my wedding day and I use these um, frequently when I'm doing like bigger eyeshadow looks, just like more in depth with like, especially when I'm working with palettes that have a lot of fallout in them or like darker colors, I'll usually do my eyes first um, and I'll place them on while I am doing my eyes so that way they can easily peel up and all that product, that fallout product comes off with it. They're not too sticky. Um, I feel like they have, they have a, as you can see, they have a pretty interesting shape. They don't fit my face exactly. Um, so they're fine, a dollar, they work. They're just not like my favorite armor pads ever. Sometimes I would rather just use a piece of tape than pull these out. So, and most of the time we already have tape laying around our house. Something that like really intrigued me that I thought I was gonna hate, but I actually really enjoy is this face massage roller. Um, now I was kind of like, kind of like tiptoeing around the idea that at first it was kind of one of those like, oh, if it's a dollar, that's awesome. Um, if I like it, that's awesome. It's a dollar. If I don't like it, maybe I can pass it on to somebody else. I was kind of afraid that these on the website, they kind of just look like they were going to be like plastic, like just like hard plastic. And I, that kind of feared me because I was like, oh, maybe that's not good. Maybe it, I, that's not good to like tug on the skin. However, it's just like silicone plastic. Um, so it really just rolls across the face very smoothly. Now, because of the shape and the, um, I don't know if you, what do you call that? The spacing of these squares on this. And um, they kind of have like a little pull to it. So they kind of contract, which I think is really good for firming the skin. Um, I don't know if this has really done anything, um, but I enjoy it. It's just something different. Uh, so I think this is a fun little tool. Now I have my Flutter Habit lashes on today. So I don't, I didn't debut these, but I have these um, false lashes from AOA, duh. Um, and this is in the style Alexis. Now these are some of the funnest lashes ever. They're so big, fluffy. They're not like super annoying to where they're like, uh, you do know like you're just at work, right? They're not like that annoying if you want to wear them like on just like to work, going to the grocery store. Um, they're nice for a night out, you know, if that's the look you're going for. They're just a really all good around lash. This box, however, was $5.55, I believe. So even though everything's a dollar, there are some things that are more um, in price just because, well, this here, the sponge, um, it was $1.55, but I know that all of their items that have like that 55 cent, they're in like a donation 
program with. So I think they donate and that's how it's more because they donate that much to whatever. I'm not really sure. Probably should have done the research on it. Sorry. Um, but I think this ends up being like 95 cents per like pair, which is very inexpensive. And these are very easy to work with. So really like those lashes. Um, so I picked up two primers. I picked up the Perfecting Blur, Blur, the Perfecting Blur Primer, and then their Illuminating Primer here. I like the blurring one. It's, um, I don't feel like it's very like blurring in the sense of like, you know, the Benefit Professional or any silicone base. It's not a silicone primer, which you think that it would be just by first glance because it does have that like clear liquid. At least I assume that's what it would be like. And it's more of like a liquidy gel. Um, but it does get tacky, which I happen to like. One thing I don't like about this, um, which I don't think it affects like my overall look at all. It's just kind of weird and I don't know why they did it. Um, but if you can see, maybe there's like these flecks of glitter almost. It's shimmer, but I don't know. I think it was just kind of, I don't know why they would put that in like a blurring primer. I don't think it was necessary, especially because I feel like most people who want to blur want to mattify the look, which I know is not always true. Um, but I, I don't know why they would have put glitter in this. So that's the one like turn off for me, but I happen to really like this primer a lot. Um, another primer that I actually really enjoy now, it's not, it's their illuminating primer. Um, now it's not blurring at all. It's nowhere in the name. It's definitely not mattifying. It is illuminating. It's just this, it has the same consistency as that blurring one, but it has that beautiful pearlescent shimmer to it when you blend it out, um, which you can see me putting it on here. Almost everything I have on today is by AOA. The only thing I didn't have was mascara um, and contour powder and then setting spray. So, um, other than that though, this is good primer, very luminous. I put it on like the outer portions of my cheek to just give that luminosity to the skin. And I really think it does a very effective job without making you overly glowy, like looking oil slick, like greasy, you know, so very good, very well worth um, it so all. So I picked up this AOA contouring stick um, and it is in the shade Latte. And as you can see, I just applied it onto the places that I want naturally bronzing and contouring. Um, and I apply this underneath foundation because I um, happen to find that when I put my cream con cream products underneath my powder products, it just gives a more longer lasting flawless look. I don't like the way that cream products look on top of my foundation because I sure of my skin doesn't hold well to foundation. So whenever I put a lot of products on top of it and blend it away, they don't do well unless it's like powder. So I don't, I don't know how people can do that. So I've just resorted to doing it underneath, which I happen to think looks really natural. Um, but it also just carves out the look just a little bit more. So anyway, as you can see, I applied this in the three and on the contours of my lip and my nose. And I happen to really like that the way this blends out. Um, I have tried this over my foundation, but again, I just didn't like it. But I really like this underneath foundation. I think it peeks enough through that it just, like I said, it gives you that nice carved look. Um, so I like this a lot too. Now, I think the hidden gem of all this whole collection are these cream blushes. They're the Hush Cream Sheer Blushes. And I have the shades Cozy and Cupid, and you'll see me demo the shade Cozy today. Um, Cozy, I think, just gives that more, like, sun-kissed, I've been in the sun for several hours type of pinched cheek look. Um, Cupid is more of your, like, blushed pink. You've been playing in the snow type of glow. You know, you're embarrassed because you, like, because you're talking about your crush. Um, so this is more of like that classic, like girly pink. And then this is a little bit more of like a corally pink. Um, but I really like both of them. I use, like I said, cozy t today. Um, but I love these blushes equally. They're so good compared to any blush, cream blush that I've ever used. I think what I like about them the most is that they are in these compacts. And so you can really manipulate how much you want to use. 
um, by just going straight in with your brush. And I really like that because it doesn't, you can't ever really use too much. And I think that's a lot of people stray away from using cream blushes because they can get really, they can get bad quick if you go heavy handed, if you don't know how to manipulate the product. And I feel like these are so easy for beginners, experts, whatever. These are, these are good. Okay. Then as far as foundation goes, I think they have another one in a black tubing and they comment that as more like a sheer full coverage. And then this is their pro wear full coverage foundation in the pink caps. Um, now I know Taylor Wynn likes the one with the black caps, but I think when I put in this order, like they just came out with these. So I don't think there were any like reviews or anything like that with these, but I happen to really love this foundation. I don't think it's full coverage. So even though it says full coverage. I don't think that it is full coverage. I do think that it's buildable to full coverage, but I think just on like first application, first layer, it's pretty medium coverage. And I, I can tell because I have a lot of redness to cover up on my cheek side. Um, so when you'll see that I cover that up with the concealer, but I think that this is a beautiful foundation. It's not matte. It's not dewy. It's just that perfect skin finish, like satin, skin finish. I will say it's probably more of like a satin matte than it is like a dewy satin. Um, but I love this so much. It wears beautifully throughout the day. Like I said, it just looks so good on top of your skin. Um, it looks good underneath other powder products, which I happen to really like because it keeps that, uh, it avoids you from looking overly cakey, like super makeup y. So I really, really enjoy this. I think this was $1.55, $2. And I have the shade Porcelain and Ivory, and I mix these today um, to use these just because I feel like mixing these two shades gives me that perfect, I just dropped one, um, it gave me that perfect shade match because I couldn't quite tell online what shade I was so I gambled and I still spent less than I would on a typical drugstore foundation same with concealer they have their pro wear um liquid concealer again I picked up porcelain and fair ivory I just went in with porcelain but I bought both because I didn't know if I was going to need to mix them I will probably start using the fair ivory as I am getting more sunshine um, but I did use the porcelain today and I just really like this concealer a lot. Um, it is pretty, I, I don't want to say it's full coverage either because it's not marketed as that, but it's a pretty good, um, liquidy, just, uh, let's just say it's a medium coverage concealer. I think it covers very nicely, but I also don't have like bags or stark circles under my eyes so i feel like if you are in my boat this would be a good concealer um just because it's very skin like it's very it's very blendable um that's very emollient it's a nice product to spread um and cover with so i really like this a lot. As I said, um and then this powder from aoa is their perfect setting powder i have mine in soft light this is just a very nice, finely milled setting powder. Um, I don't like the packaging on this a whole lot, but also it's only a dollar. So what can you really bargain with for on that? Um, but it's a pretty nice size product. I feel like this is going to last me a while, but it's very blurring. It's very skin like it's not, doesn't make you look super cakey. It kind of, like I said, it blurs you out, makes you just look clean and flawless on your Face. Um, I like to just set with that and I also like to bake with that as you see that I did today. Another powder that they have is just their pressed powder. Um, I have mine in the shade porcelain and I happen to really like this powder also. I think it's just like a classic powder. Um, now there are powders that I've used that are bad and good high-end drugstore and this is this is pretty decent for being uh, underneath that drugstore price point at being a dollar. This is a very good um, powder. So I recommend this. Um, now, I didn't see that they had any like powder bronzers or powder contours other than that contour stick. So what I did is I picked up that 
pressed powder in a darker shade. So I got the shade Almond and I used this today um, actually in as like my crease shadow shade today just because I didn't really want to pull out a full palette because I wanted to stick to these products. Um, but I also used it today for my bronzing. I, um, I think it's just a little too orange-y, like a warm. Um, I do like it and it's fine. It doesn't look like it would pull super, you know, orange on the skin. It looks like it would be just a nice, like, car not caramel, but just like a nice, like, soft contour shade. Um, but I do think it pulls a little warm. So I have to, like, I, when I wear this, I do have to be sure to wear, like, a monochromatic look like this. Um, just to kind of tie it all in instead of just wearing this on the cheeks. So I don't know if I will use this fully, um, but I know that I can get this shade in the summer. So I might end up using this as just a powder foundation and that will be good for that. Okay, and then as far as other face products, we have the um, Perfect Blush and this is an interesting packaging. It's not my favorite. I wish it was like a lid but it's a screw cap. Um, but this is in the shade Wispy. It's that very soft coral. I feel like this is very similar to that cozy shade, but in pressed powder form instead of cream. Um, just that nice blush corally pink shade. Um, it does pull a little peach, I feel like, but not super like a, it's not like a super light peach. It's kind of, I feel like in that between of I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but it's just a really nice flushed pink, flushed coral pinky blush. I just gave this shade way too many descriptor colors. It's fine. I'm wearing it obviously on cheeks today and it's just super pretty. Um, and then as far as highlight goes, so we have this pressed highlighter the perfect pressed highlighter and I love this so much. It reminds me a lot of the Essence Soft Nude. Um, I'm sure I have other drugstore products like this also, but this is just so soft. Um, it's not overly powdery. They do have baked highlighters and I do have one, but I didn't want to share it today because it's just not my favorite. Baked highlighters is not my favorite formula of highlighter. Um, but this is just, this is a very comparable to a lot of the mainstream highlighters that you do see and feel on the market. And this is lovely highlighter. Um, I'm wearing it obviously, but I'm obvious also wearing, um, this power light loose highlighter in the shade Nebula. Now this, I feel like I'm wearing both of these in conjunction and I, this definitely has that shine, that beaming, highlighting, glittery shine. This is more of like a soft luminescent highlighter. And this is like, I am beaming, make me glow. Both of these together are, hi, how are you? <laughs> See me glow from the space. Um, whoa, totally did not mean to sound like Jeffree Star, but I think I just did. Oh, well, um, I really like both of those highlights together. They just, they did this and I could not be happier. This is perfect, like skin, like not super annoying highlight. It's a very soft, ethereal, luminescent, which I love. Okay. And, oh, we have a few more products to go. And I'm trying to get through this fast, but let's just go. Um, I did not use this today, but I have used it. It's their loose pigment in, in Spell. It's very, um, what does it remind me of? It reminds me of that one unique shade in Comfort Zone. Um, it's the, you know, the one that's like brown, blue, green, that's that duochrome. This, this is that in Loose Pigment. So this is very, very interesting product. It's a messy. It doesn't come with like a sifter at the top, like a sprinkling sifter. So it is messy as all get out. So it's not like my favorite product to use, which didn't use it today. Um, but this is like the star of the show. I'm going to go ahead and say it. This is the star. This is the hidden gem. Everybody needs to get this, but this is the AOA Studio Buttercream Gel Liner in Shadow. I have mine in the shade Rose. Um, this is hands down, I think the best eye cream, glitter cream, eyeshadow thing I've ever used. Um, because it's just like this cream, as you can see. Um, I love to just use this on a blush. I use it with my finger, but it's a very moussey, 
whipped cream. Um, but when you apply it on the lid, it just gives this beautiful foiled look. I feel like this is kind of similar when I put on like the Stila shimmering or glitter and glow shadows. Um, but this is just, this is something else. It lasts all day on the lids, I think, because it does have that gel liner formula um, in it, but it lasts so long. Like, I think I had it on the other day and I ended up crying because emotional and it it lasted and whoa was I amazed and it's just so beautiful I want to try their other colors that they have even their like matte colors and their other shimmer colors but this is such a unique product and formula and for a dollar I love it um a few product product blah, 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 products because brow products is what I was gonna say a few brow products here, which I'm going to just swim through these really fast. Um, Wonder Brow Pomade, really good. I feel like it's comparable to a lot of other brow pomades on the market. It's very small packaging, so I feel like if you have a hard time going through pomades, but you want to use pomades, this might be a good option for you. It's very creamy, um, not super creamy to where it's going to like just flake off, like smudge off your brows all day. It's, it's that good creamy to wax consistency, which I really like. It's a good shade match for me. Also, I am wearing this today. Um, brow pencil, it's their brow definer brow pencil. It's super creamy. It's not that perfect wax to creamy ratio. Um, there are other brow pencils that I much prefer, but I will use this because it was a dollar and it is good. It's a good shade match. I like it. Um, has a nice spoolie on the end here, has a nice shape to it, but Again, it's just not my favorite formula, but I will use it. Um, and then I don't know why I picked this up because I've never, ever leaned towards these products, even when they first came to the market, but this is the brow gel. Um, I do like this though. I have used it um, just a few times here and there when I really just want like a clean, crisp brow. Maybe I'm just doing like brows that day or something and this is what I'll go for um, because you can really manipulate this to go like big and thick or you can just do like a really thin natural brow with this and I really I like to manipulate this product and it's nice and of course um they have their go brow which is a brow tinted brow mascara I really like this the spoolie on this is like the perfect shape for brows whether you have big bushy brows or super non-existent brows I think the standout of this is the spoolie on it I feel like it's very easy for a lot of people to use um it's very little so you go through it very fast but it's the same size as the benefit give me brow um as well as I think the essence one um, and then I have we're almost done just a few more products here I have these gel eyeliners in brown and then I picked up this green one which I have not used the green but I did use the brown one today obviously been using it for a while um it's an okay gel eyeliner it's not my favorite formula ever when I very first used it it was pretty creamy, um, which at first when I used it, I loved it. I was like, holy cow, this is amazing for a dollar. But then I noticed that it started drying up. Um, even when I have had to sharpen it, I feel like it gets drier every time I sharpen it. So it does tug a little bit, but you know, you can always warm it up on like the back of your hand. So for a dollar, maybe that's worth it. But also there's other eyeliners that I have in my collection that I just rather buy especially having to wait to like buy these online but it's okay it's decent I use it. and then so. I think I have two lip liners from them I don't know where my other one is as you can see in the application video this one that I chose is a very very nude um it barely even shows up especially I noticed it when I was applying like in my mirror that it like wasn't even there and then when I looked in the camera it was like kind of there um very nude shade I feel like it's okay it's not the best lip liner I've ever used it is a pretty dry formula which I kind of like but I don't like it when they tug and that's what this did um so not the best but again it was a dollar and then I picked up four of their liquid lipsticks um they're the wonder matte and I have the shade trend extra hype and naked and I'm pretty sure I went in with hype and naked today no I went in with hype and trend today I'm pretty sure um and just kind of layered on trend and then I went in with hype on top but I really really like these a lot they aren't super drying they're pretty comfortable I like to layer a gloss on top of them 
I haven't today, so that's why they're not glossy lips today. Um, but I feel like if you do pucker them together, they do give that tackiness, and so I don't like that, which is, like I said, why I like to typically put a gloss on top, and you never notice, but they last a pretty decent amount of time, which I really enjoy. So, okay guys, so that is all the products that I tried from Shop Miss A. Um, showed you what worked, what didn't. I feel like for the most part, to be quite honest, everything worked. I mean, especially for a dollar, you can't complain about too much. I feel like, like I said, it's a pretty good brand. I really like this brand regardless. I feel like anybody can use it. They have an okay shade range on their foundations. Um, I don't think I mentioned that earlier when I was talking about it. So I can't remember. I don't think that they have the best shade range in the world, which even for light skin, tone it really wasn't like the best um so I can only imagine how people of deeper skin tone feel compared to me so sorry uh but anyway that's gonna be it from me guys thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed the video today or anything that you've seen from me so far, then please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Put on the bell notification to get notified every time I upload a video. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed having you guys here and I will see you beautiful world changers in the next video. Bye guys.